The DX18 is the first handheld spectrum transmitter to offer up to 18 fully proportional channels. It comes with 10 of these channels active and ready to use. If you need more than 10 channels, simply plug an X Plus 8 channel expansion module into a compatible spectrum receiver. You'll instantly have 8 extra channels and the ability to assign their functions using the DX18's X Plus software. If you're using a receiver that already has more than 10 channels, simply assign its extra channels as you would if you were using an X Plus module. Here is Spectrum product developer John Adams. So today we're going to discuss uh, X Plus. So what X Plus is, X Plus, think of it as a channel expansion system. Presently, Spectrum offers three receivers that allow the expansion of X Plus. Those receivers include the AR1220 12 channel receiver, the AR12120, which is a power safe version, and also the 9020, which is actually included with the DX18. So if you have any of those receivers, a DX18 or a DX10T, you can utilize the Spectrum X Plus expansion box to increase the number of channels by eight channels. So let me show you and explain how that works. To activate X Plus channels, you need to go into system setup mode. So holding the roller, turning the transmitter on, then scroll down to frame rate, and you'll notice that this comes defaulted to inhibit, so you need to turn it on, so press the roller to active, then, in order to assign the X Plus channels, go to Channel Assign, and go to Next, and go to Next one more time, and that brings up the X Plus configuration screen. Now, in this screen, you can assign any of the eight channels, X Plus channels, to any switch, knob, lever, or even the roller, the clear, in the back screen. So let's assign X Plus one channel to switch A, that'll be my gear. Let's assign X plus two channel to the uh, left lever. There's a left lever. And X plus three, let's assign that to the right knob. There's the right knob. Now, you'll notice that when I rotate, well, I have to actually go back to the main screen so I have modulation. So you'll notice that the X plus is now driving the knob. We have the gear switch and also the lever. And what's important to understand is when I go to those screens, you'll find those X plus channels are being supported. So I can adjust my travel adjust, sub trim, everything, just like you do your regular servos. So here we have an X plus expansion module. When you purchase an X plus expansion module, it includes a male to male lead, and that lead simply plugs into the SRXL port in the expansion module and the X SRXL port in one of those three receivers that are compatible that we previously talked about. It. From that point then, you simply bind the system like you normally bind, and you're ready to go. Of course, you need to turn on the X Plus, as we showed in the DX18, but that's all there is to it. Now, one of the features that the expansion module offers is it has this jumper. So if you leave the jumper plugged in, the battery system that's powering the primary receiver will also power the servos that are plugged into the X Plus expansion module. If you choose to power the servos from the X Plus expansion module independently, you pull this jumper and you simply plug in your battery source, your second battery source, into, the, into that connector. And from that point, all the servos that are plugged into the expansion module um, will be powered by a separate battery pack. So X Plus channels are ideal for things like um, turning off and on lights, for a gear channel, for things like gear doors, for things like a canopy release, basically for scale ancillary items. To learn more about the Spectrum DX18 and to find a retailer near you, visit SpectrumRC.com.